Hey everyone, it's Karen Rose. So today in this tutorial, I am going to go ahead and show you how to do a natural makeup look for pictures. It is November, family pictures are big right now, or if you have any other type of photo shoot going on, whether it's a maternity photo shoot, um, engagement photo shoots, but whatever it is, this has always worked out so well. Ever since I've been doing makeup, I find that this look of all of them photographs so well, it appears so natural. But enough of the chit chat, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Alright, so I always like to start with the eyebrows. We're going to go ahead and start by just brushing these up with a clean spoolie here. Alright, and then using the Mayhran brow pencil, we're just going to go ahead and fill in the little gaps just to enhance the natural shape. And then for the eyes, we're going to go ahead and start by priming with the Wet n Wild My Glass Incognito Concealer. And I also like to use this just to clean up right under the brows in case you overdraw it all. Then we're just going to go ahead and blend that out with our Real Techniques Makeup Sponge. And this concealer will also act as a great primer for the eyeshadow we're going to use today. And then using a Maybelline Translucent Powder, we're just going to go ahead and set the concealer in place. Perfect. And for our eyeshadow today, we are going to go ahead and use a palette by Makeup Revolution. This is their Earth Shadow Palette, and I mentioned this in my last video too, but I love this one because you have a variety of different colors. Some of them are perfect for the summer, some of them are perfect for the fall. But this is what we are going to go ahead and use today, and using a big fluffy brush, we are going to go ahead and just start with this tan shade right here, and we're going to apply that right in our crease. So for this, we are just going to start right on the outer corner here, and I have slightly hooded eyes, so I'm kind of raising my lid a little bit, so that way I know I'm getting it all nice and saturated. And I'm just going to blend that right into my crease, and then another thing to be very careful about when you're doing these, definitely always start on the outer corner and blend in. Never go like too far in or start like right here, because it'll just appear super harsh and it'll be hard for you to blend out. Perfect. And then we are going to go ahead and take this deeper brown here and this we are going to apply right in the outer corner and work our way right into the crease. And I like doing this darker color like right in the outer corner. I just feel like it's something that really opens your eyes up a lot more and it just looks so natural and pretty. But honestly this is something I do in my everyday makeup. I am just obsessed. And then using a slightly stiffer brush, I'm just going to take that same brown shade and I'm just going to tap that right in my lid and we're going to go ahead and use a lighter color right on the inner corner. And then one of my favorite parts, we are going to go ahead and take this gold shimmer here and we are going to go ahead and apply this right on our inner corner on the inner lid. And this is just really going to give us that pop of shimmer. It is so pretty. Perfect. And then today we're just going to do a thin eyeliner right on the lids. And uh, the eyeliner today, it's by CoverGirl and it's called Perfect Point Plus Liquid Liner. And for mascara today, it is by Maybelline and it is called The Falsies. Awesome. And before we start the face, I'm just going to clean right under my eyes with the makeup wipe. Just to ensure that we don't have any fallout before we start the foundation. Then I'm also just going to clean like right on the outer corner there just to give the eyeshadow a little bit more of a shape there. Perfect. Then before I start the face, we are getting into the winter month, so our skin is really starting to dry out, at least mine is. But I'm going to go ahead and start by moisturizing with the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. And my skin has been ridiculously dry lately. This is definitely helping me. But no, that's the one thing about winter. My hair always looks nice because I don't have to fight against humidity, but then my skin, I have a hard time with makeup coming on not being so cakey. Awesome, then for primer today, we're going to go ahead and use Master Prime by Maybelline, and this is a hydrating primer here. I'm just going to blend that in with my sponge from Real Techniques. And then foundation today is going to be by Maybelline, and it is the Fit Me Foundation in shade 105. 
and we're gonna go ahead and apply this with a stiffer brush. And then we're just gonna blend out any lines with our Real Techniques makeup sponge. And then for contour, now this is something that's definitely optional. If you prefer to just do bronzer, you can totally do that. I just personally, for photos, like to do some contour, and honestly, I just think it's fun to do, which is why I'm doing this today. But for contour, I'm honestly applying that just like bronzer. And then I'm gonna go in and blend this out with my Real Techniques makeup sponge. And then I'm also going to go ahead and apply some right on my nose, just starting like right under the eyebrow. And honestly, this is something, this can like change the shape of the nose a little bit, but I like to do it just to add some color. I honestly like the way it looks. Perfect. And then for concealer, we are going to go back to that Wet n Wild concealer that we use to prime our eyelids. Just going to put this right underneath the eyes, tip of the nose. And then we're just going to blend that out with our Real Techniques Makeup Sponge. And then using the same Maybelline Translucent Powder that we used to set our eyelid, we're just going to set the rest of our face makeup in place. Perfect! Then for bronzer, we are going to go ahead and use Wet n Wild Contour Palette. And then we're just going to start by applying that right on our cheekbones. And we're going to do a little bit on the forehead and right on the chin, just give us a little bit more color and dimension. And then blush day is by Alt Beauty in the 3-in-1 Cheek Palette. And then for lips today, we're just going to go ahead and go with something a little bit more natural. But this one is by Makeup Designery and it is called Rose Clay and I'm just going to start by lining my lips. And then just a little tip for the lips. So after I have lined my lips, something I like to do is take the lip crayon and it actually like go all over the lips because I find if you have to eat something before you get your pictures taken, it actually definitely helps the lipstick last longer. It just gives it a little bit more pigment to adhere to. Perfect. And just going back to the eyes real quick, we're going to go ahead and just start with that first color that we use. And we are just going to go right on the bottom latch. Just help open up the eyes a little bit more. And then we're just gonna go ahead and go back to the darker color and we are just going to go ahead and apply this right on the outer corner. Beautiful, and then finally, the setting spray. And this is by NYX, bear with me. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look and I'm telling you, this always photographs so well, it's super natural. When you're doing a makeup look like this, you may feel just a little bit overwhelmed at first, especially if you don't wear a lot of makeup, just because the colors are a little bit darker and you may feel like it's more dramatic, but I'm telling you, it shows up so well in the pictures, your skin just looks flawless. And but thank you guys so much for watching us today, I really hope you got something out of this and that you try it, but and I hope this really shows up well in your pictures. Thank you guys so much, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.